Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over the Positional Heroes collections. Uh, the two that were released uh, yesterday were the Free Safety and the Left Guard. Uh, if you didn't check out my prediction video, go back and check it out. Uh, I go over who I think could possibly be the remaining collection. So, start out with the Free Safety that has 60 cards in it. I actually have a decent amount of them, uh, but I don't think I'm going to try to complete it as pretty clear because I don't have that many coins. Of 7,000. Uh, but I'll show you where all my coins are kind of sitting and then um, uh, how I'm going to work at work it. But uh, my, you need Micah Hyde uh, and Hussein Abdullah as football outsiders. Uh, you need, uh, what is that? It's going to be 9, 10? You're going to need 10 Team of the Week uh, gold free safeties. You're going to need the Glover Quinn, which is most likely the most expensive. It's not that bad. He's only 37k. Uh, so, probably one of the fantasies is the rare one. You're going to need all the gold road to the playoffs, uh, safeties, it's a crap ton, and you're going to need the elite Jarius Bird. We'll take a look at all the elites prices. Who is 27k? Uh, Earl Thomas, who is 43k? Uh, Devin McCourty is 20k. I already looked at his price because I have him. Uh, and then Eric Weddle is sitting at around 25, 25k. Uh, so this collection doesn't appear to be too expensive, but there might be some golds. Uh, you do need the two elite badges, but elite badges are 26k. I know Mod Black here is going for a decent little chunk. Yeah, 21k. Uh, so he could be one of those stoppers. But I actually think if I had like 200,000 coins, I could complete this because I have, all, like, look how many free safeties. I, I'm missing a lot of the road to the playoffs, I'll be honest with that. But I bet, oh, here's the rare one, I bet. The team of the week, haha, ha, Clinton Dix. What's he going for? 200, oh, no, 54, 54K. All right, so they're not too bad. It's probably one of these gold team of the weeks. I'm trying to remember which one's probably the earliest. Is the Sean Gibson the earliest? Uh, no, he's only, like, 8K. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. That Micah Hyde can't be worth anything. Uh, the Abdul is not. How much is the Micah Hyde? No, the Micah Hyde is worth crap. I have him on my other account. That's why I was wondering. Uh, but you can see pretty, pretty decently easy collection to complete. Uh, I kind of miss the old collections with uh, like a hundred cards or whatever. And the rewards, the reward is pretty ass cheeks. You just get the Harrison Smith which is terrible compared to years past. Uh, Madden 12, you got the card and a million coins. Uh, and in Madden 13, you got like 250 or 300k coins and uh, like a legendary bundle. So compared to past years, this is pretty bad rewards-wise, but not awful. I'll probably go through and sell off my gold-free safeties uh, that I have because I don't think I'm going to do this collection uh, while their prices are probably as high as they'll ever be. So... I'll go ahead and sell them, see what kind of profit I can make. I'm not going to do it now. Well, I might do it today. I don't know. Uh, and then left guard, if I would have been home yesterday, I would have been able to sell them. But I wasn't home, so I couldn't. Uh, the left guard, the reward is a Josh Sitton. Let's see how much his football outsiders card is going for. Not too much. 41k. And uh, I actually pulled the Orlando Franklin. Uh, out of a pack, I was opening all pros with my friend with coins, and I actually pulled the Orlando Franklin, so uh, I actually got to open up like five uh, all pro packs for free, because he gave me 25k, just to open one with him, and then I pulled the Orlando Franklin, sold it, opened some more, uh, pulled some, I was trying to get legacy collectibles out of them, because you can pull those, but uh, got all this stuff, not anything that looks like it would be rare, the Orlando Franklin is obviously... Uh, we could take a look at, wow, there's a lot of, there's a couple, four elite left guards. Uh, the, here we go, uh, Evan Mathis is 68K. Uh, Mikey Potty, he is currently 22K. So this is, this raises up kind of those elites, the base elites. Uh, that's why I'm holding on to mine. The Mankins is 20. I know the Mankins was like 7 or 8 or 10K earlier. Uh, and then Josh Sitton's base is 16. It's so not too bad price-wise. Uh, looking at this, obviously there's going to be some rare... Oh, they've got some silvers in here. That's rough. That's rough. Silvers. Ja Reed seems to be rare 
usually, so I'm going to check him out. Oh, no, no, it doesn't look like he's too bad this year. Usually, somehow, they find a way, and his price is always expensive. But those are the two positional collections. Uh, appears to me to be about a 500k, maybe. No, not five. About three or 400k to complete uh, one of them, and then, you know, three to 400 to complete the other ones. So let's take a look at the auction when you check out their prices and find out uh, what, what they're going for, find out if it would be worth it to do the collections for around 300 350 uh, you might have to sit and snipe for some of the cards uh, to make profit. So let's see here. Position heroes. So Josh Sitton's going for 483 and Harrison Smith is going for 600 k uh, Let's take a look at their stats. I'll go over Sitton's first. So Sitton, uh, they're ball 99 overalls. He's played in over 1,100 plays this season. Uh, allowing zero sacks and only nine total pressures. He's got 98 strength, 90 awareness, 75 agility, 72 speed, 88 acceleration, 96 run block, 99 pass block, and 97 impact blocking. Uh, so really nice stats there. Uh, solid left guard. Not sure if I would want to pay almost 500k for a left guard, but uh, definitely worth it. And then Harrison Smith. Uh, I really wish Charles Woodson would have got this because that dude balled out this year. He had five interceptions too. Um... But but it, but it's all cool. Harrison Smith deserved it just as much as Woodson, uh, and I get why they gave it to Harrison because Woodson already has his 97. Uh, but he's got 94 speed, 93 acceleration, 95 play rec, 87 tackle, 80 man, 98 zone. All right, uh, 90 pursuit and 94 hit power. It's definitely a solid card. Let's take a look at catching. Catching is an 83, so pretty solid there. Jumping is a 91. Got some decent spin and juke moves if you do intercept the ball. Okay power move at 67. Pretty good block shed at 84. Uh, 90 pursuit. Uh, 94 injury, or 96 injury, 94 stamina. Uh, 73 spec catch, 68 catch in traffic. Uh, so that hit power is nice. Uh, so a pretty solid card. I'm not interested in it. Uh, I don't really like Harrison Smith. He's not a player that I really like, so uh, I don't have any interest in picking up really either of these because uh, I don't really care to pay that much for an offensive lineman, and I'm, I'm okay with Ed Reed as my free safety instead of Harrison Smith, uh, so let me throw up the comparison. Let's see here, so Ed Reed, same speed, he's got better excel, better play rec, they got the same hit power, uh, Harrison's got better pursuit by five, better zone by two, better man by six. Better tackle by 11. Eh, I'm not too worried about that. My Ed Reed does just fine. Ed Reed's got better catching. Uh, probably slaughtered Ed Reed's price with this Harrison Smith. Let's check Ed Reed's price real quick. Because now I want to know how much it just absolutely slaughtered his price. So free safety. No, it didn't even... Eh, it didn't actually slaughter his price that bad. He's still like 600k. All right. Um... You're going to need a collectible to be able to do these collections if you did not know. So let me go show you those. Uh, solo challenges right here. Even if you're not going to do these collections, I would suggest completing both of these just to get the collectible. Uh, so that just in case, maybe, you know, in a couple weeks, uh, all those cards will go back down in price. And you might be able to snag them cheap and maybe be able to do the collection for like 150, 200 K. Uh, because these sets do expire on February 16th, which is Monday, next Monday. And so I would keep uh, keep an eye out. Maybe try to just do these solos. Take you maybe 20 minutes. Uh, not 20 minutes. Maybe 20 minutes each. So about 40 minutes. Finish these up. And, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll get yourself the items. You'll be good. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you all in my next video. Peace out, guys.